welcome back. My name is Claire, this is Polly Put The Petal On and today I'm bringing you the autumn swag. Um, I made the actual armature for the swag two videos ago and I'm going to show you because I'm starting off a little bit different and I'm going to show you with the finished product and then I will slip in a video of how you make it because I split it into two because um, I've not been so great but um, I've, I've still done it so um, and I made some notes because I got a bit of brain fog too. So I made some notes that I wanted to um, talk to you about. Um, about the, the um, what is this, swag. Um, but there's a couple of, th three, three, that's a few things that I wanted to show you. So I was going to show you these last week and I couldn't reach across the table and I just hadn't got the energy to to get them so this is what my partner picked up from um car boot last week and they're absolutely and i love the way he supports me you know um he does he he, he i mean i moan about him and and he's so grumpy but he he really does support anything that i do so um he picked up these from the car boot can you see them and it's just um wheat is it wheat i think it's wheat and um, which is perfect for autumn isn't it um and it's sprayed gold now that is definitely perfect but you know and there's this silver one and i think he said oops i think he said uh, and this is this is real wheat it's dried and then sprayed um and i think he said they were they were three pounds a bunch so he picked me up those which i love and i definitely can use i, I thought i was going to use them in this swag that i've got right in front of me but i decided against it because i'm for some reason i think i'm reaching the end of my autumn i don't know i don't know um but um i know it's only just beginning autumn but you know i've done i did my box and i've done a sunflower wreath and i know that wasn't for autumn but and I'm, i've done this swag and i've done my candles and i may do um a tray i may do a tray actually because um, i've still got some of these picks left that i could i could use for a small decoration um, but i don't go mad um decorate the only time i go really mad um is christmas so i do have little bits and pieces about uh, for autumn but not not crazily i mean i watched a, a lady on youtube this morning and um she's decorated her sitting room absolutely beautifully a, a, a british lady i mean i know um the american people absolutely love to decorate and, and i love to watch them you know but this lady in, in uh i think she's in the north too uh, a bit further north um she, she decorated beautifully so um so that that's that was those and then the next things i just wanted to update you on these leaf bowls that i've done i sprayed them gold now i did the ivy leaves didn't i and i've because i associate i know it's for all well it's all seasons isn't it ivy uh but i associate ivy with um winter you know because it's an evergreen and and there's not much left on the trees and stuff but you've always got that tree ivy haven't you so you know in winter so i associate it so i thought i might do those silver you know i might spray those silver so i've left them at the moment they're just blank they're just the blank clay um but i did these i did these now i did start painting and you can still see it there but it doesn't matter i could touch it up or but aren't they lovely didn't they come up really nice and i sprayed the back as well they're just really, really nice. And the spray that I've used is florist spray. It's just a florist um, spray. Um, 
you know, but there's tons of, I mean, even Aldi are selling sprays at the moment, aren't they? I bought some stone spray from Aldi's um, the other day, two, I think it was 2 99 or was it 3 Um And I'm thinking of doing my fireplace because it's, it's a little bit, well, I've had it a long time, so I, I might bring that to you when I do it, when and if. But yeah, so they were the leaf bowls and they've come up really nice. I'm really happy with those because I can use those, not just for autumn, but I can use them for uh, winter too. And also, uh, I've got some lovely, uh, no, I don't know where they are. They're either in the loft or in that petal shed. Uh, artificial acorns that I'd like to put in them. So yeah, I love those little bowls. Now, the next thing, and I was so excited about this, and it was uh, the other day actually that my partner, like I say, he, he embraces everything I do and supports me. He's, he's so good with me. And um, we fight like cat and dog. <laughs> we really do, but we love each other, you know. Um, but anyway, so he, he made me this and I'm so, I absolutely love it, guys. Look at this, you know, out of that wood when he made me that, um, that box for the autumn, for the autumn arrangement. Look what he's made me now, a little crate. Isn't it adorable? Whoops. Isn't that lovely? I just love it. Like I say, he's, he's such a little sweetheart. But don't let him know that I've said that. <laughs> no, he is, he's lovely. So that was that. And I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do in that. But of course, when I do, I will bring it to you but I'm definitely going to do something in it for Christmas um but I don't think I don't know because like I say I'm feeling a little bit autumned out um and I'm not sure what to do uh as regards that because obviously we've only just started autumn so that was that and I think that is absolutely adorable now this is what I'm bringing to you now. And I'm, I've got to be aware of the time because I'm not entirely sure how long this video is going to go on for because um, I did the the actual um, blank, the actual swag last night. So I've got to piece it all together and I'm not sure how long it's going to, uh, Going to go on for and also what i'm going to add today as well uh, i've not mentioned it when i first came on but you'll have seen it already is a little introduction now uh, uh you know i was i'm swanking basically i'm swanking i'm showing off because i've been playing around um and uh i've added a little introduction to it if you don't like it just tell me and i'll get rid of it it doesn't matter um but um but yeah, I just thought I would I would add it too, um, because I I'm I'm only just learning about um YouTube and the technology of it and all that sort of stuff. So you have to bear with me, and I am I do get a little bit giddy, you know. So here is. Hope you can see that, and I will do some I will do some video of it on the door on my on my front door because I'm when I've finished filming it I'm gonna hang it up and take my summer one down. So here it is. And do you know guys, this was easy peasy to make and you, you're gonna see that in the, <clears throat> in the video. I did the bows by hand and these are funky bows. Um, and I didn't name them funky bows. They are called funky bows. I think it's, um, a, a lady in America um, that, that uh, I, I want to say invented, but I don't think that's the right word when you create something, is it? Um, but it's this lady in America that 
that uh, thought of this and I think she did it out of scraps of ribbon um and as you can see I've got only I, I would say it's similar to a terry bow but of course a terry bow is is tiered isn't it wait a minute whereas a terry bow is tiered if you know what I mean big loop uh medium loop small loop you know Big, medium, small. So that's that's a terry bow, and that's what you do on Pro Bow the hand. Um, and I do need to get down the shed or up the loft. Well, somebody does for me anyway, and try and find my bow dabra because there's another another set of bows that we can do. But I'm going to do that as a video uh, bow making, and it's really lovely to make bows. I mean, these were a little struggle because my hands was they were a bit frosty. They weren't playing, but um, I've done them and uh, I did. Oh, on the video, I you will see that I didn't have these longer tails on. I just had these two side tails. Well, then I went back in um, after titivating it about, and I thought, no, I want to add two longer tails. And all I did really was was cut two pieces of ribbons. Uh, fishtailed them, um, wired them and then stuck them in right underneath the bow. So that's all I did to do that. Uh, what else did I do different? Because like I say, I did make um, notes. Oh, first of all, please excuse me in, in my PJs last night. It's just that I felt all right for a few minutes and I thought I'm going to jump on and uh, get that done because I didn't know how I'd be feeling today. Um, so do excuse my PJs and sorry about that. And you don't see my face either because, you know, that was just a no-go. I, I look dreadful. Um, if you're doing this and it's going outside or if you're making one of these and um, it's you're going to sell it or, you know, put it up for sale, whatever, there's the dog. Um you do need to make sure every piece that you put into this is secure. Now mine is secure, you know, and it's going to rattle around on my front door in the in the wind and the rain, you know, and I'll see how it bears up. But everything that I've made so far and I've put on my front door has held up um, pr pretty good. You know, I mean, by the end of the season, it's a little bit, don't, you know, it's, it's a little, it needs, you know, it either needs uh, redoing or definitely some attendance, but... You know, everything I've done has, has withheld on my front door and I get a lot of sun on my front door. I get a lot of rain. I got, get a lot of wind. So, um, yeah, you need it to be, to be. So I hope you like that, guys. And I, like I say, I'll, sh I'll, I will show it you on the, on the actual front door. Um, so... You'll see Oliver did deco mesh and the deco mesh is from deco mesh decorations and that's online. The ribbon is um, 50 yard rolls and that's from Costco. Uh, the picks are um, from the ribbon room and that's a fantastic, um, a fantastic place to get your ribbons. Now they don't do loads of, I mean they do enough um wired ribbons but it's the wired that you need uh, so always you know when you're searching for anything always check your wired ribbons but they are quite a good and reasonable um site for for your ribbons and they have got some beautiful ribbons and and um accessories too um not not masses of accessories but they have got what they've got is nice um so what else did I have? Oh yeah, the garland, the actual swag was a garland, as you know, um, that I just made into a teardrop shape for this. Um, and I think that's it, isn't it? So I've got my ribbons, my picks, because this was, and you will see, this will be the simplest um, craft for you to make, honestly. It's so easy, um, really easy. Um, and I, what else have I written down? Yeah, I, I said about the extra tails on the ribbon. Oh, 
I know what I've got to say to you and I, you know, I'm surprised nobody pulled me up for it. Now, I don't want to stay wrong, guys. Um, so I'm going to correct myself. Um, when I gave you the maths on this garland that you can cut up and put on to reeds, uh, it, no, <laughs> something wasn't sitting right with me. And I kept thinking about the maths of this, what I'd said, you know, you'll get nine garlands because it's nine foot or eight, gar um, eight wreaths because it's a nine foot garland. What a load of baloney. Something wasn't sitting right with me. And uh, I thought maybe I need to get the calculator out and do some maths. So I did because the diameter is 12 inches, but the circumference is, is I think it's 30, I think it's 37, 37 point, in fact, wait a minute. It's 37.7 uh, circumference. Um, it's a 12 inch diameter. So a nine foot garland, wait a minute, I didn't even, did I write that down? But, uh, right, I don't know the, because uh, I've not written it down. See, I'm, I'm only telling you half a story again, but you're definitely not gonna get eight or nine out of a nine foot garland for, for uh, 12 inch wreath rings, definitely not. And I apologize for giving you that false information because I really don't wanna stay you wrong. Um, so what I got out of that garland and I wasn't I'm not sure whether it was a nine foot or whether it was shorter but what I did get you saw it um a few videos back um what I did get was this swag and that is you know that's doubled over because you saw me make it um doubled over to I can't think where but it's not all the way down it's just some of the way down so I got that and I got two um, wreaths, two healthy 12 inch wreaths out of it. Um, so I still save some money, just not as much as I thought. Um, so I do sincerely apologise for that. Um, and I think that's it guys, I really do. So if you hang on um, and I, I'm going to hang this on the door and then right at the end you'll see this on the door. Um, I hope I've given you the information. I don't know. If I haven't, uh, drop me a comment in the comments box and I will try to answer it. And as I usually do, you know, of a night time, I rewind the entire day in my head. I don't know why, but I do. I always have. Sometimes I rewind entire conversations. I don't know if anybody else does that <laughs> or is it just me? And then, like, just like the, the, the maths issue with the, with the garland and the, the 12 inch reeds, you know, I, it took me some time, something wasn't sitting right, and I do a rewind and I think, oh God, that wasn't right, or I needed to add that, or I needed to say that. Hindsight, it's a wonderful thing, isn't it? So um, I'm going to say thanks for tuning in because we are getting on in time. Thank you for tuning in. Um, once again and uh, if you're new here and you haven't subscribed and you'd like to please do so it is it is completely free um and if you'd like to give me a, a thumbs up on the way out that that would be really appreciated it just um lets lets youtube know that people are watching um and yeah so that's it for this one i'm not sure what i'm coming back with um i need to get some inspiration but that was that and I will put this on the door now and you'll be able to see that. Thanks for watching. Bye. So guys, I'm just going to start by putting in this deco mesh. Can you see? Um, I'm going to start on the end and I'm going to gather it like that. And I'm making sure that both, both the ends of it, the edges are turned in. So I'll bring that over there. And this is my top, your bottom. 
So and basically, all I'm going to do is use these twist ties to secure it in. And what I'm wanting to create with it is some poofs. Now keep those, keep those edges curled in. I don't know how long I want my poofs to be because um, it's not a massively long armature. I think it was 50 something centimetres, one tip, when we measured it. And I'm going down the centre. So I think it's going to take about three, it's going to have about three poofs or puffs. Stop there. Can you see? I hope you can see. And then the last poof, I think, now. Make sure your edges are curled in. And into those last two there. I don't want to use that one, actually. Um, or that one. So um, it looks like I'm going to use this one. and puff it out and then I'm just going to snip that and don't worry about that that little bit there because I'll hide it and that is what you're looking for okay oh, I need to flatten it and and um what I'm thinking, guys, because I don't know where we're up to on this video because I'm just I, I'm starting this the night before I come on tomorrow. So this is on Thursday. What I'm thinking, so I made these bows, uh, one for the top, one for the bottom. OK. Um, so I'm wondering to myself, do I want to incorporate some of this ribbon coming down the side. And if I do, what colour? I think I'm gonna go with this. Because I think it might be too much if I do the two together. Um, you know, too, too wide. And I know you don't even know what I'm, where I'm going with this, but hope for, uh, yeah, no, you don't. I was gonna try and start with when I start the video, I was going to tr open it with me already having made uh, made this. And quite possibly I could do. So let's see where, where we end up. Just ho hold one sec while I get my ribbon, ribbon scissors. So they're my ribbon scissors. I only use those for ribbons because these are what I use for anything. Uh, and this got a serrated edge so you can cut wire and all sorts and because I did cut wire because these one were my very first pair because I did cut wire um they started chewing my ribbon so I bought another pair uh and I these are specifically for ribbons so what I'm going to do put one on top of the other turn it so that both edges are facing the left and then I'm going to dovetail so I'm going up towards those edges and then you've got the, that nice finish right so um, I'll, le I'll leave a bit of a tail on and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to Gather this together like this. I'm going to come back up to the top. I'm going to get these two twist ties and twist that ribbon in. And 
keeping them on top of each other. I hope you can see, guys. I'm now going to... Um, wait a minute. Do I want to go in here and follow this poof pattern? Or do I want to go here and just do two? Let's try it. So I'm going to come in here, but you want to you want to create like another poof sort of thing, but with your ribbons. So pinch, bring it together. Look for two twist ties. and twist now I may have to consider, consider uh, reconsider this ribbon if I then put my bows on and it's too much but actually I think that looks quite nice already so we'll see how it goes but you know I had a design in mind and now I'm just going for it so bring your ribbon again got your poof, pinch, two twist ties, I don't think these are the ideal ties guys, but I'm going to go with it anyway, two twist ties and then this last section I'm going to bring down I'm going to uh, pinch place that in there and twist and then guys I am going to, hope you can see, I'm going to come to these tails of the ribbon and I'm going to dovetail. Mm -hmm. Right, now, so that's, so that's that, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to buzz off and I'm going to put this next side in of the ribbons and then I'll come back and I'll show you where we're at, okay? Okay, I'm back. So I'm now going to start pulling these ribbons, separating them like this, and I'm going to do it alternately. And you want to pull them, you know, And again, the beauty about this um, wired ribbon is it keeps its shape. And we can titivate with this when we're done. So, so far, oh, you have to excuse me this evening because I'm in my, in my pyjamas. <laughs> so, so far we've got this. Okay. And then we've got our bows. So what I might do, so I'm definitely going to the top with the bow. Definitely, definitely. And then And then 
definitely go in either to the bottom or to the centre there. I'm not sure which. Probably to the bottom. And then, guys, we've got these to come in with. And literally, what I'm going to do with these is just place them sporadically in. Um, and and you know see how that looks so give me a tick I'll go and attach the ribbons and I'll come back right I thought I would put this this top one on uh, on camera because I realized that I've not explained to you when I made this bow I have some um, paper covered wire on a roll let me show you and it's by Oasis uh, bind wire and it's uh, paper covered um, so I've tied my bow off with that and now I'm going to put my bow on and I'm just going to twist that wire on and if you think about it everything I'm doing here is removable so, you know, I can take, nothing's glued in as such. In fact, nothing's glued in at all. Um, can you see? Right, I need to hold that up and that bow needs adjusting. see I'll show it you properly when we're when we're rolling right um, there's this dog he never fails does he right then we've got these like I say so we're gonna come in with them I mean these picks they're only 60 pence each from, um, I think the ribbon room I got these from. Sixty pence. So you've got your little pine cone. I think that's a, a conker or a horse, a horse chestnut or a. Um, I don't think it's a. Oh, I've forgotten what. There's chestnuts in there, and then these. These conkers. <laughs> And then there's chestnuts, that's right. Uh, and then you've got these little berries and these little berries with your leaves and your little twizzles. So they're quite nice for 60 pence because you're not messing about having to put bits and pieces in. You can just go in with the entire pick. So I'm going to buzz off because I need to put my glue on. Um, and uh, when that's done, I'll come back. Okay, so guys, I'm back and what I've done is I've put my ribbons in and I have got my um, little, tiny little picks. And all I've done is obviously taken the labels off and then just fluff, fluff them out to make them, <coughs> to make them look as natural as possible. So I've got my glue pan on, I'm going to dip in, I hope you can see where I'm going and I'm going to snug one right in there, can you see? And this is probably going to be the quickest swag I've done, so getting another one. Dipping in and going in. Going in the opposite side, except it didn't want to go in. <coughs> Hopefully that's stuck. If it doesn't, I'll just go back in with it. Um, I 
think I'll go here. And then on the opposite side. No. I hope you can see guys. And then down here. Opposite side again. I think I need to go definitely in the middle there. Um, I'll get two more. Excuse my arm, folks. and then just open up and fluff just as if it's natural you know I think I will go here And then I feel as if I definitely need two down here, folks. So, and then I'm going to hold it up and I'm going to see if it wants anything else because I was trying to avoid the pumpkin. For some reason, this year, I don't want the, pump, the bright oranges. I want it to be quite... Um, I'm going to trim the end of that. I want it to be quite natural. I'm just going to hold that up now, guys. And I think that's about done it, you know. Wait a minute. I feel as if I'm going to go. Actually, that one's not even stuck in. now but I do need another one and th these are only glued on the ends guys so you know come next year or even after autumn when I take it down I can literally unpick all this and these are still of use to repurpose next year Gonna hold it up again. And I think let's dovetail these for a start. Because whether I want to roll them up or not, they need a dovetail. I think hmm. I may need to go to the petal shed unless I 
don't know, guys. I'm going to criticise it now. Critique it, is that the word? Not criticise it, because... So I'm going to buzz off and I'll come back.